Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the difference between the two same class of drugs which name are actually physostigmine and the neostigmine. Both are actually are anticholinesterase type of drug. Means what? Which they inhibit the cholinesterase enzyme. Okay fine. So they comes in the group of parasympathomimetic group of drugs. Yeah. Okay. These drugs actually when they act, they mimic the action of the parasympathetic system. Okay, fine. But what is the exact difference between these two drugs uh, where actually we use these drugs molecules? So, uh, first of all, uh, uh, sources of this drug. So, physostigmine is actually a natural source. The plant name is a uh, physostigma venenosum. So, homeopathy preparation is also available about this drug, but uh, we as in allopathy, we a uh, filtered molecule is used. Okay, fine. Neostigmine, it is a synthetic molecule. Okay. Now, according to the chemistry, when we see the difference between these two drugs, what is the exact difference? So, physostigmine is actually a tertiary amine and neostigmine is actually a quaternary amine. Okay, fine. And the absorption. If we give these drugs orally, so remember, physostigmine is having a very good absorbability, while the neostigmine is very poorly absorbed. Penetration is very... Need to understand that if we give neostigmine orally, we need to give 20 to 30 times higher than its subcutaneous or the IV doses, right? So, if IV dose is actually 1 milligram, so if we are giving neostigmine orally, we need to give 20 milligram, 30 milligram. Tablet also 15 to 30 milligram tablets are also available about the neostigmine. Okay, fine. In the physostigmine, actually, uh, it can also cross to the blood brain barrier. So, its CNS effect is also there. While the neostigmine uh, does not penetrate the blood brain barrier, so its CNS effects are very minimal or it's not there. Okay, fine. So, actually, where we are using these drugs, what is the exact difference? So, if we want to use this drug as a myotic in case of a glaucoma, so in the glaucoma, even in open angle glaucoma or angle closer glaucoma, so, physostigmine, actually it produces the meiosis, okay fine, its penetration is good, that's why it can be installed directly onto the eye. Uh, one combination is also available, physostigmine plus pilocarpine, which is also used in the glaucoma, okay fine. So, what is the other use of the physostigmine? The other use, actually we are using it into the atropine poisoning, okay. So, you might be knowing belladonna poisoning, the tura poisoning, uh, to counter the action of the atropine, physostigmine is used when we are using the neostigmine. So, actually we use neostigmine mainly in myasthenia gravis in which we uh, need to have a reversal of the action of the skeletal muscle. Then we use it into the post-operative urinary retention. So, uh, if the person after operation, its uh, GIT tract is not properly functioning or its urinary tract is not properly functioning, they are in relaxed state, we need to counter its effect and for that uh, we use the neostigmine mainly subcutaneously or IV preparation is used at that time. Okay fine and uh, paralytic alias as well as in cobra bite also we are using the neostigmine. Now remember another difference also if uh, neostigmine we are giving its systemic effect is around uh, 3 to 4 hours. Okay fine and if we are giving the physostigmine its systemic effect are nearly around the 6 hours. Not that much huge difference between these two molecules. But we need to administer frequently. Yeah, that is the condition because their systemic use duration is very less. So I hope I have uh, taken all the points of difference between the physostigmine and the neostigmine. Thanks for the listening.